Jacksonville, Florida. It's the 49th Annual Gator Bowl as two top 20 teams, the Tar Heels of North Carolina, representing the ACC, meet the Crimson Tide of Alabama from the SEC. It's the first meeting ever between these two schools. Watch the true freshman kicks off. Marcus Wall will take it from the goal line. Wall out to the 19, breaks the tackle, and he's across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Pressure coming. He dumps it off quickly to Curtis Johnson. Johnson fighting for the first down, and he's going to be close. Knocked out of bounds by Lemansky Hall, the leading tackler for Alabama. Fourth down in a yard, and the punting this year has not been as good as a year ago. Mike Thomas, who last year was an all-ACC pick, really has struggled punting the ball. And the ever-dangerous David Palmer is back. That one not hit very well. And it's actually going to take an Alabama bounce back to the 32-yard line. And so Brian Bergdorf will come in after a 30-yard punt that time by Thomas. On the option, Bergdorf, he pitches, Anderson trying to come up with it. It goes on the far side of the field, and Alabama retains possession, and it's going to bring up a, did they get far enough for the first down? That's the question. Brian Deal, second best average ever in Alabama history. Line drive affair, kicking it away to the near side. The ball inside the 10-yard line. Eventually, it's picked up and returned out by Stephen Jerry, and he's going to be dropped inside the 15. That's a 51-yard punt, a line drive affair. And a six, getting off again to Curtis Johnson. He's got the first down. Cedric Samuel, a true freshman, number 13, make that Leon Johnson, the other part of that firm of Johnson & Johnson. First down out the 30-yard line for UNC. And this time, Stanislaw has buried Jeremy Nunley, and this is who Mac Brown feared. A little delay, fake. Bergdorf over the middle, wide open is the tight end, Tony Johnson. He's to the 25-yard line. Bergdorf, play action, got time. Going for the end zone, Palmer going up inside the five, and that'll bring up a field goal situation. Absolutely. You got, and on that kind of route, you have to give the quarterback a little bit more room to be able to drill it in there. 37-yard field goal by Michael Proctor is on the way, and Michael Proctor missed it. After hitting 13 of his last 14, 22 of 29 throughout the season, misses a 37-yarder. Confusion on this play, a flag on the play. Stanisic rolls out, completes the pass. The catch is made by Freddie Jones, the tight end. Jones is inside the 35 to the 30. And let's see what the flag is all about. This time Stanisic on the option, tries to get up the field. It's not there. And good coverage that time. Elbrick Brown, number 76, a junior out of Montgomery, came flying up there. And this is what they want to do. Second down now, 11. Brooks in motion, and what a hit is laid on. The ball comes out to 35, and uh, Stanisic tried to option a freeze option, and all of a sudden, Brown was on top of him. Stanisic, where's he coming? Going for all of it. Marcus Wall dropped it. From the 34 now, the tide has the football. To Palmer, he's going to throw. Now he elects to run. He had a man down the field. He's to the 45. He's got the first down. He had Kevin Lee on a streak. What a wonderful family as uh, his wife Ruth Ann and son John Mark here at the game. Here's Bergdorf in trouble. Oh, is he buried on that? It'll be incomplete. Troy Barnett, the nose man, was in his face. And that is exactly what Matt Brown said about Barnett. He bats balls down, and there's a good example of it. Whoops, goes in motion. They're coming after it. He gets it off to Holiday, Toy Holiday, and the co-captain hammered at the 25. That's four yards short of the first down. Was he hit? Toby Shields has come back in at center now for Alabama as we start the second quarter. Second down and six for the tie. Bergdorf on a rollout. 
And David Palmer makes the catch. He went high and has a first down catch at the 44-yard line. Sean Crocker defending on the play. Two catches now for 13 yards. Rushed one time for 13 yards. Burdorf from the spread. Stepping up in the pocket. Wide open is Palmer. He's got it at the 20. He came flashing across the middle. Sean Boyd, the safety, caught up with him. But that's a 36-yard completion to the 20-yard line. Williams in the backfield. Williams off tackle and knocked down just short of the 15-yard line. Palmer goes in motion. Hand up to Ted next to fullback, and I think he got it. He has a first and goal. Hammers it inside the 10. Kerry Mock, 57, the linebacker, stopped him, and they may have to measure to see. Third and goal. Jacobs, the linebacker. That is a huge play. Flying through, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Proctor, who missed an earlier one from 37, will attempt a 22-yard field goal. And Proctor's kick is on the way, and Alabama's on the scoreboard. UNC will start there. Stanisic rolling out. And up the field, the completion is made to Corey Holiday, and Holiday is all the way out to the 48-yard line. He's fun to watch. He's a graduate student out of Richmond, Virginia. Third and ten. From the spread, Stanisek over the middle. Holiday again to the 30. And right now, it's Stanisek to Holiday. That's the number. Stanis From the 29, first down. On the option, Stanisek, Stanisek. Pitches at the last moment to Leon Johnson. Oh, that's what we're talking about on the decision-making. Danisic dumps it off to Leon Johnson to the 10. Five, diving. He was wait, No indication yet. The officials are not indicating he's in. North Carolina thought he got in. Henderson, the fullback, will try to get it in. And they're in for the touchdown. Well, the referee is, 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 is waving it off. Well, one did indicate touchdown. Now we have a discussion going on. From the spread, Bergdorf to Kevin Lee. He's got world-class speed, and that'll be a first down. It's a good interview. In Jacksonville. Yes, it is. Yeah. Very interesting insights on uh, their philosophy. There's Bergdorf, mishandled snap, has to fall on it. Back at the 35-yard line. Second and 14. Play action again by Bergdorf, scrambling out of there, breaks the tackle, he's a good runner, here he comes, 45-50, and he's got the first down to the North Carolina 44. Bergdorf, complete to Chad Key, and the former quarterback, who was switched in the spring, makes the catch, he's a big target, he stands six foot four. First down now to 34. Frazier coming, Bergdorf leads it. He's to the 30, to the 25, 20. He could go all the way and does. Touchdown, Alabama. Marcus Wall will go in motion. Looks like Alabama's offside. Stanisic rolling. He comes up the field. Right on the plays. He comes across the 35, the 40, and he shows he can run the ball as his counterpart could in Bergdorf. That's a 14-yard scramble. Looks like from the 1890s. Right next year. Third down, 10. That is it. People in his face gets rid of it. It's complete to Leon Johnson, and Johnson scoops for a first down to the 45. Michael Rogers caught up, so he just stayed after it. They're going to have a reverse. Bucky Brooks. Brooks trying to get wide, and Michael Rogers cuts him down. What a play by Rogers. John Cosby, by the way, now playing center. Shields is not in there. Here comes the reverse. It's fumbled and falling on it. Very alertly was Kevin Lee. So both teams have not run the reverse very effectively. When you're 58 years old, you don't need those kind of things, right? Back to throw now is Bergdorf, and he has dumped the ball, comes out. It's incomplete. Special teams are long plays. Yes, they are. From the 50-yard line now, a minute 42 left in the half. That's a wide receiver screen complete to Corey Holiday, and he's got a first down, 13-yard gain. North Carolina has two timeouts remaining. 
set, double pumps. There's a quarter, I should say, the wide receiver screen again, and Holiday converts this one into almost another first down. He's very close to it, maybe a yard short, and now North Carolina is going to use a timeout. And off, going for the first down and thundering ahead is Curtis Johnson, and he's got it all the way inside the 15 yard line up first. And it's a 15 yard run. And straight ahead comes Henderson, and he's going to be short of a first and goal. He need to get inside the five, and he's short of the five. And yet his kick is up, and we're deadlocked to ten. So it's ten all at the halfway point. We're going to be back with the start of the second half from the 49th annual Outback Steakhouse Gator Bowl. Bergdorf pitching out to Sherman Williams, and Sherman Williams has a first down on his clothesline at the 47 yard. A big hit by Bracey Walker. You can see why they call him Novocaine. First down now at the 48 yard line. Williams again, and Williams is going to get another first down. He's to the 40 yard line. This is a guy, the first five games this year, rushed for over 100 yards, then got hurt. Bergdorf with a deep handoff to Williams cuts it back to the 30 lost his footing and that's that slick field that Craig Sager was talking about but Williams a good cutback that time second down they get six yards to go Pips again to Williams Williams trying to go wide and he gets inside the 25 to the 22 yard line three wideouts now on a first down at the 19 it's Williams again Williams got the corner he's to the 15 to the 10 and he is cutting them about 10 yards a clip right now. Drive almost six minutes old. Bergdorf on the play action. End zone. Touchdown, Terrence Lynch. Dan Stanisek answer now as North Carolina starts from the 21. Play action. Normally giving chase. Throws up the field. The catch is made by Corey Holiday. And Holiday, let's see where we're going to mark it. He may have a first down. They do. Curtis Johnson, Malcolm Marshall in the backfield for Carolina. Janicek, pleasure coming. Oh, did Gregory unload on him? James Gregory, all 280 pounds of him. Guard of the year is the MVP in the Pigskin Classic when they defeated Southern California. Third down now in six. Almost falling down, gets the ball underway, and Holiday makes the catch, and that'll be a first down. Almost snapped it on the ground. Janicek over the middle. The catch is made by Leon Johnson, but he'll be five yards short of the first down. So fourth down coming up, and the deuce is back inside the 15. Oh, it's Tommy Johnson back there. The ball partially blocked. No flag on the play, and the ball's going to roll to the 32-yard line. Tommy Johnson, number 10, coming off the wing area. And Alabama now from the 33-yard line. Palmer comes in motion. Going to throw to Palmer. They got number two in the open field, and that could be some trouble. As he's across the 40 to the 41. Pretty good recovery that time by Bernardo Harris. The pitch coming back. This is Steger, the freshman, and look at this run for a first down. This is a guy that has really impressed Gene Stallings. Palmer comes in motion, he's going to get it, and he gives on the reverse to Kevin Lee, and that did not fool number 71, and that is Marcus Jones, who is one of the fine young players in the country. He's a heck of a player, Marcus Jones. Boy, the reverses aren't working. Huh? Third down and 23, Bergdorf. Far side, complete to Chris Anderson. Nice cut to the 40, and it was shoved down there. So to bring up a fourth down, the ball comes out. North Carolina running with it, but it's been blown dead. They get it underway. As you can see, Deal was aware of him. Coming up now is Stephen Jerry. The ball comes loose, and I think Alabama, no. They say North Carolina recovered it. Well, I don't know if that official... Well, I don't right. either. It yeah. looked to me like Alabama got yeah. it. They're marking it the wrong way, aren't they? They're pointing as though North Carolina recovered it, but Mario Morris, 58, came out of the stack yeah. with it. Yeah, they, they They're going to change there. it. There, there it is. Yeah. This is the 49th Gator Bowl. Next year, the big 50th, and, of course, the NFL coming here. Good news for your bowl game. Oh, it's tremendous. Uh-oh. Uh well, almost an interception by Jimmy Hitchcock. 
on a second and nine. Now it's third and nine for Alabama. We start the fourth quarter. That one's up for grabs. And the ball is incomplete. Very close now. John Boyd, 28, says he picked it off the ground, but according to the official on top of the play, it hit the ground. Well, Mac Brown said my quarterback has to play well for us to win. He has done that tonight, but they have not been able to get any production out of Johnson and Johnson. Go back to throw, Stamasek. Pressure coming, gets rid of it, and as the catch made, it is Holiday again. Boy, this guy has been nothing short of sensational. Leon Johnson in the backfield. Stamasek, look out, backside, he's blitzed by Damian Jeffries. Jeffries, number 91. Marcel West has come in as one of the wide receivers. He's number one, replacing number two, David Palmer. Third door, pressure coming. Completes it. I thought Palmer came out of the game. He did not. He made the catch. And we have a late flag now as he's knocked out of bounds at the 39. We have a late hit. A bootleg by Bergdorf didn't fool anyone, and Hitchcock was there. Jimmy Hitchcock was playing really physical on that corner. Also, Austin Robbins, but it was Hitchcock, 18, who turned this one in and did a fine job on it. Bergdorf up the field. Chad Key makes the catch. He'll be short of the first down as he's dropped at the 39-yard line. There he is. He was a walk-on, a quarterback in high school, third-string quarterback in spring, and now getting a chance. Look at how he's had the ball in his six minutes and 37 seconds this half. Is that amazing? And here comes Sherman Williams, who came back in. Nice little change of pace, replacing Chris Anderson, and he gets the first down. So they're within field goal range now. Boy, he's been a big difference in this game. 79 yards, 15 carries. He had all those yards on that third quarter series. It's been the difference thus far. Here he goes again, inside the 20, breaking tackles, close to the 15-yard line. Look at that. Rushing yardage in the second half for North Carolina. And there's almost a mix-up on the exchange. Bergdorf and Lynch collided. They're fortunate that ball didn't come loose. Bergdorf, far corner, Chad Key. He got it. Touchdown. Very positive young man. Third team all ACC pick. Disappointed he can't play. Danisek comes out, hits the guy who's been his number one man, wearing number one, Corey Holiday out to the 41. I-51 left, Danisek back to throw on second and four, and whoops. Second down now, eight from the 40-yard line. Here's Finger again. Look at this guy. Now this is a player that hasn't played all that much, but he's going to play a lot in the future. That's a 14-yard first. Third down, six yards to go. Steger trying to get the corner and good reaction. Mike Morton. Morton's made a lot of tackles tonight. For North Carolina, they were looking for that top 10 finish. They were looking for the great bookends, wins over Southern Cal and Alabama. A good, solid year with 10 wins, but didn't go this final one the way they hoped. But they've got all those skilled people coming back. North Carolina does. Both these teams will be very good next year. Alabama will go to 9-3-1. and one. You know, he started out his first year losing in the Fiesta Bowl to Louisville. And they had lost three of their last four bowl games. And there's a penalty flag after Palmer makes the fair catch at the 41. So this saves a lot of wounds. It, this pride and tradition that Alabama has and to finish this year on a very positive note has to be happy even though Gene Stallings doesn't look very happy right now. He's got North Carolina back to national prominence. Stanisek has the ball stripped, and it's going to be picked up by Damian Jeffries. Well, they called that an incomplete pass, did I they? think, but it sure looked like a fumble to me. It sure did, and uh, Stalling saying, that was, uh, wasn't a pass. <laughs> hey, Gene, there's only 51 <laughs> seconds left here. Both these teams are going to be very good next year. Stanisek, rifle player, and the catch is made by Marcus Wall and Tommy Johnson really belting. Illustrious mark, 50 years of tradition. As Danisek throws again and diving forward and out of bounds goes Marcus Wall and stops the clock with nine seconds. Nine seconds left. Here it comes. Hello. Yeah, they got him. Testing. 
Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, if I was number 80, I wouldn't let him see my number right now after that. <laughs> and so that's the last snap. And Alabama with an impressive 24 to 10 victory. Did you notice it was all seniors that, that doused in with the water? 